And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a new donation deck today. We have Is It Wizards. I don't play too many Is It decks here on stream. Just uh, that's probably the color combination that I play the least of, as far as two color decks go. And so I'm excited to, to, to do this. We got some Wizards here where we're playing basically like Is It Aggro. This is a very aggressive deck. You know, using our, our creatures, Lava Runner, Burning Prophets, Dreadhorde Arcanist, Lightning Stormkin, new one in M20, and Adelise, trying to finish our, our opponent off really quickly. Um, the Stormkin, with of course the Flying in the Haste here, and the Adelise also having Flying in Haste, very similar kind of cards here. You get For Adelise, you pay one extra mana for that ability there. And those are going to let us fly over the top of decks like uh, Vampires and Scape Shift, decks that just are really worried about the ground. So having some flyers is really nice in those kind of matchups. Um, but yeah, we got tons of spells here. I guess we got some other Warlords Furies that are chilling down here too. We got tons of like spells that we're just, we're playing a bunch of spell matters creatures. You know, Burning Prophet, whenever we're casting them, it gets plus one, plus zero, and we get to scry one. Our Arcanist gets to recast them. Of course, our Adelies. Whenever we cast instant and sorceries, all of these wizards get plus one, plus one until end of turn. So we can have some really, really explosive turns. We want to start by like getting a couple creatures in play and then have some really explosive turns. Um, our sideboard, uh, just a whole bunch of kind of like good, good spells in different matchups. I'm liking it. Firemind's Research as being a, our card advantage engine. This will be interesting. We're a low land count deck, uh, as you see here, 20 lands, because of just having so many cheap spells and so much velocity through the deck with cards like Crash Through and Warlord's Fury and stuff like that and all the scrying. Uh, but So we don't have lots of lands. We don't have anything like really expensive in our sideboard either. But it'll be interesting to, to try some Fire Mines researches. I haven't played too many of those before. But yeah, let's give, let's give this one a try. This looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that I think the temples are too slow with this deck. I I don't think this deck wants tap lands. All right, so we're gonna so as we always do with our donation decks, we go through a traditional constructed league, and see if we can get to five wins before we get to two losses. There we go. All right, is it wizards? <laughs> Here we go. This will be a fun one to play. I I know, like with some some of these spell matters, uh, you know, like really heavy spell decks. I think these decks are, are kind of hard to play, basically. I know that I've kind of struggled playing these decks before. Because, like, when you, like, you know, you just curve out, you play your stuff, it's easy to to play, like, what you're supposed to. But, like, exactly when, like, when should you cast your opt, when should you cast your warlords for your, like, when you have so many cards that cost the exact same amount of mana and do kind of similar things, se sequencing them perfectly is difficult. This hand's pretty easy to play, though, right? We just play our Lava Runner. We'll play these two things to get two spells in our yard. Yard. Yuck. So many lands. <laughs> Isn't our deck supposed to, like, not have lands? <laughs> what are all these lands here? Yeah, this is the this is this avatar that we're using is the Eternal Army avatar. It's like the amass token, basically. It's the it's not a planeswalker. It's the uh, the it's Nicol Bolas's army. So yeah, we got wizards versus vampires. We just don't need to cast the unsummon yet. We'll kind of give it a give it a minute. B 
yeah, we've already gone through from 12 cards. We've already gone through more than a third of our lands. <laughs> Considering the one land we put at the bottom, or seven out of 20 is more than a third. So yeah, they just left their three mana up to block. Shock's not bad. I mean, it's better than a land. But it's not particularly exciting either. You know, if like, basically, if we keep Shock, my opponent kills the Dreadhorde Arcanist, we're probably losing. I guess we'd have Unsummon for the Arcanist, but still. Alright, I'm glad we put the Shock to the bottom. Glad we have that Arcanist instead. It's not lethal. I don't get to recast the Wizard's Lightning. Yeah, the 1-3 body is not, not great, but being able to recast these things, you know, like our 1-3 our already cast an opt, and now, like, the one of them will have, like, an opt in a Warlord's Fury, the other one on summons. And it does have Trample. That's true. And First Strike. Adelise, I wanted you last, I wanted you just a little bit ago. All right, well, Adelise should do a ton of damage next turn. I, I kind of just don't even, like, I don't want to play it here. I don't want to let my opponent know that we're going to have this Adelise. Don't want to really expose it to a removal spell either. We're going to go crazy this next turn. Because we, we get to play Adelise and then Unsummon. Pump these things up. Wizard's Lightning. Pump these things up again. And then the Arcanist will be three power. I'll taste your neck. You so then with three power, then they can recast Wizard's Lightning, recast on summon. Like they're just, they're just very dead. They're just like way more dead now. I guess we don't really need to play more cards and show them anything else. Could have done a lot more damage. Could have done a lot, lot more damage. So we, if we would have played our other two spells, it would have been four, so it would have been 12, plus six, 18. We would have done 18 more damage if we would have just played the other two spells that we had in our hand with the Unsummon and the Wizard's Lightning. Oh, no, actually, minus four of that, because we would have only done one of those. Then 14. So it would have been 14 more damage. All right. Vampires. What do we got over here? Reckless Rage? Probably fine. Lava coils are probably fine. Not sure about flame sweepers. We take out the spell pierces. Hmm. 
Sideboarding with this deck is going to be really tough for me. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm not exactly sure what Tail's End is best for. I don't know. So this is Serious Ward's deck. So yeah, if you have if you have good ideas for me to be doing with any of the sideboarding, Serious Serious Ward, you just let me know. Okay, what are you doing? Throwing throwing around my pens. Yeah, Tails End can counter a Planeswalker or a Planeswalker activation. I'm just not going to play the other Lava Coil. What do you throw in the, what do you put in the trash can? That's a good tie bar. Just knocked it off the table into the trash can. Hey, what's up, Eisenf? I kind of feel like, so I had, I had like two watches here. See, like I'm wearing like one of the watches, but I had like another watch here and I can't find it. And I had it just here on my desk for a while. You know, my, my movement watch. And I haven't seen it in a couple of weeks. And I wonder if, I wonder if I had it on the table right over here, which is definitely a place like where I'd have like my watch like right over here on the table and Hawkeye like knocked it off in the trash can and I just didn't notice it and threw it away. I kind of feel like that happened. I'm sad about it. All right, Flame Sweep looking a little better. good to have like as many spells as possible for Adelie's. All right, the opponent walked into my trap. Let's shock. I want I want this extra red source. Good to have these spells after Adelie's. We'll see if, you know, hopefully our Adelie survives. A lot of two mana removal that these kind of decks have are cast down. Yeah, Draw from Dreams is, do, does dodge an R set. Yep. Ugh. Can I wait a turn and play Burning Prophet first? I mean, I probably can. Oh, well, I'm not going to, though. Darn, no red mana. So Lava Runner has First Strike and Trample, so not the best block here because they're only saving one life. Correct, cast down cannot kill Adelise. That's what's saying that it's Adelise was relatively safe that last turn.
These unsummons have been great. Alright, gonna play the Burning Prophet to get the this, this Scry in here. So we do this. I think I wanna give my creatures first strike. Alright, well, I was gonna give my creatures first strike and Scry. And see, and then, you know, we'd be drawing a card and see, like, what, you know, uh, see if we could draw another spell to be able to play also. We got a mastery orb from the mastery tree. Mastery tree. What do we get? We get shared summons. That's a valuable one right there. Boom. Now since we got the shared summons, now the next one will be able to get Omnath. <laughs> So, you, you know, you have to unlock this part and this part first. So we'll get Omnath next time. And then we'll work towards all these white cards. All right. So, yeah, pr pretty good show in there for the Izzard. Is it, is it Wizards? Uh, the Eddie Izzards. For us. Pretty cool little deck there. You went for Omnom first? I went for your rock first, I guess. Your rock's cool. I want another Arcanist. I guess so. This is going to be a little slow. Next turn I go, like, Wizard's Lightning, the Land War Elf. Awesome. Glad to hear that, Throw Kane. Welcome to the channel. Hmm. Don't think we really need to play any of those right now. Looking for Adelie's. Summon's not bad. It's still pretty slow. For Adelie's. That's not Adelie's. Still not Adelie's. It's not bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've had a whole lot of options this game of like what we want to be playing, like what we want to draw, but we're looking for our wizard lord. You call it anarchy to me? It's just another. We won't answer to other kids. Elf crab warriors. Hmm. Ooh. Adelie's? Stormkin. More Stormkins. Basically kind of saving the unsummon for like they play like some kind of big creature that's like really scary. Or like, yeah, like they have, yeah, big creature like that. Perfect card to unsummon. And that should be lethal for us. There we go. We're going to Wither's Lightning them. Stormkin. Unsummon Sweet. Alright. Ether Gust is perfect. So I guess we should play some Ether Gusts. Lava Coil, pretty nice too. I don't love putting in a whole bunch of two mana cards in my deck though. These Dreadhorde Arcanists basically always being. One. Hey, Sorbid. Sorbid is joining in on the hype action with that sub. Thank you so much for subscribing here with Twitch Prime. You are a rock star. All right, so if we bring in a bunch of two mana cards like that, what are we cutting? Spell Pierce, out. Lightning Strike. I'm thinking Lightning Strike kind of gets... gets upgraded here. And... I don't know what the last card's supposed to be. Do I take out a land on the draw? I just brought in a bunch of two mana cards. I probably shouldn't. Take out a lava runner. I take out a lava runner. We can do that. This or Yulin Drake may not be bad at all. I mean, it's it is a one one though. It's like how how impactful is a one one gonna be? It's like not it's not that impactful. Hey, what's up, Tony? Thank you so much. So, can you brew wizards plus phoenix? So like, would this deck improve by having Arclight Phoenix in it? Because I don't, I don't think it does. Would would the Arclight Phoenix improve by just by putting some wizards in there? Also, I'm not so sure about that either. I think you kind of you may just like water down the two strategies by putting them together. Yeah, Hawkeye does always stop by to tell chat to look at his butt. That's what he does. I'm expecting this to get lightning striked. Ooh. I think Burning Prophet could be a little better for us. So throw out an Arcanist. Maybe it gets lava coiled. Rhythm of the wild. The wild. He 
You can have any rhythm you want. And you want the rhythm of the wild. Let's kick this madness into high gear. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Oh man, we have so much burn here. Oh, kind of feel like bad for using the burn and no hands. on the Domery now. So this is five damage right now. If I cast this, it'll be six, and then seven, eight, nine. So it'll be at ten, and we'll have three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, if they don't block Burning Prophet, they die. Ugh. They're probably blocking Burning Prophet. They're probably still dead though, right? So if I... Oh no, I don't I don't have enough mana to kill them. I mean, I guess, I guess they're dead. If if they have if they don't have a one mana spell, they die. Without killing the ripjaw. Did it have, have a one mana removal spell for the Arcanist? What? Not even blocking Burning Prophet? Dude, this deck is mean. Yeah, so they needed, like, exactly Reckless Rage. Yep. Yeah, that was the card they needed. I didn't finish out the Grixis control. What are you? Stop throwing stuff away. I was like, you want to have things on your desk, or by? It's not anything that I want to have on my desk. It's just something that I, you know, stuff I just don't. You know, you don't put away your pens or whatever. Your tie bars and things like that. You have them just sitting on your desk. Well, bat, bat, bat. They gone. Okay, that's done. Back to chat. Um, I mean, I want to keep 
but I think now Hawkeye super smart. He he um He'll come whenever I call him. Which not all cats do that. Ugh, Grazer. I think he has reach. And speeds him up. I do need to find this third land, but... So I, I want to, like, save these things for, like, play Adelies and then just unload and just, like, play all this stuff and just pump up. Pump our... Pump our Adelies up. By a lot. Let's see if we draw a land. Oh, man, that would have been a perfect time for a land. With my opponent attacking with their grazer for no reason. And then we just fly in with haste. Just get him. Man, there's some, some really clutch spell pierces, though. Circuitous Route is an awesome card. I wouldn't mind one more land here. Hmm. Let's have the Burning Prophet in play also. Just hit the best possible. I really want another lava runner. I want more spells. It's another lava runner is really not bad though. That's a good one. Probably unsummon. Maybe I should unsummon first. Okay, that works.
I need to draw that the crash through, give my creatures trample. Oh my gosh. Well, that's game. Yeah, they did scry. They did have a couple of really good hits there, because, yeah, the Rejuvenator hit that other field of the dead, and then their draw step was the temple that scryed it to him. I can't I can't think of anything I can I can get. I need them to like, you know, not block. <laughs> Just go through blockers. It's pretty unlikely. Man, this was with us countering two circuitous routes. We were on a mold of five though, and we we didn't hit land drops because we had to put two lands to the bottom on our mold of five. We would have been a whole lot faster if we would have had land drops and be able to play the Adelies earlier and everything. This only counters one of the triggered abilities. It doesn't counter like every single zombie. Uh, this doesn't this doesn't help us out here. I think we get rid of the unsummons, a lightning strike. Something else. A stormkin? A stormkin. I mean, yeah, y'all know me. I absolutely love Blood Sun. I think Blood Sun's a must for every red deck sideboard. But we don't got it here, so. Well, they have. So the thing is, like, their main blocker is a Boreal Grazer that blocks flying anyway, so I'm just taking a two mana creature out instead of a one mana creature. I don't want to just Stormkin. It's usually best to get these things in play, though.
Alright. I'm known for my excellent time. Let's try this. That card's really good against Red Horde Arcanist too. Only time will tell. Alright, maybe I should just go Stormkin. I don't know, Burning Prophet can do so much damage though next turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with Burning Prophet. So we have to kill the Teferi like that, because otherwise Arcanist doesn't get to cast. Yeah, they'd, they'd have to have untapped white mana to be able to play Time Wipe. They don't have very much untapped white mana in their deck, but that's something that could happen. What are you doing? Just hanging out here getting pet. Alright, I assume we have lethal. Could be counterspell, like how they kept it up really carefully. Could be Dovin's Veto. Still assume we have lethal. I'm not sure though. Haven't done no math. All right, that one's a good. That one's fine, right? So two, three, four, five, six. Our creatures have trample, so shocking the Elvish Rejuvenator doesn't really do anything. There we go. Yeah, that was a turn turn five kill through to fairy. That sounds sounds a boot right. Oh, it's okay, serious ward. So okay, good good to know. I didn't know if I didn't know if maybe like the deck didn't want Blood Sun. So yeah, so you you put this together more before Scape Shift was really big. Gotcha. I wasn't yeah. That's it's okay. So the lesson you know, we'll see how it goes here. But yeah, I think thinking blood blood sign is something for the sideboard. Mm. 
I have no idea why my opponent grow spiraled on their own turn. I don't know why they did that. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got this. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. No, this is wizards. All right. That was certainly the worst card. The card that I did wanted to see the least there was that circuitous route. We didn't get to spell pierce it. Very good for them. This looks really bad for us right now. We need like opt, you know, we need card draw. Where's our velocity? We're looking really bad. Well, that's good. So what are their last cards Dovin's Veto? Their last card's another Dovin's Veto. This this can't do anything against Dovin's Veto. I mean, besides putting my Flame Sweep back. But of course, if I attack out and they don't block, and I Flame Sweep and they Dovin's Veto, and I put my I put my Flame Sweep back, they still have eight damage, and I'm at eight. So I can't really attack. So basically, what I'm saying is I can't really just attack out here. Either guys only targets red or green. Why why do you think that this stops a Dovin's veto? Dovin's veto is not red or green. Okay, that worked. Wait to see if they would have played a land.
We're trying. We're we're slowly beating him down with the two two. <laughs> Can they just draw a green spell for me? What can Arcanist do? The answer is not much. So I know I could either gust the Lava Runner here and then improve the other ones to be two threes and kill this thing. Just so risky though if they have Escape Shift. We just take another two. If we take another two, and then if this is just a land that gets another zombie, we're in a lot of trouble. I guess if, if we like draw a spell anyway, like we're probably killing our opponent, so we might as well trade. Oh, Field of the Dead. That's rough. Yeah, I got this. I figured it out. Figured it out. Perfect. Yeah, they're dead. Now we'll just recast the flame sweep. I mean, I, could, I guess I could just shock them with that at least, too, but whatever. I want to recast Flame Sweep. I want to kill all their zombies and their stupid zombie hordes. Ugh. Also, yeah, also just lethal by finding the shock by just attacking at that point and shocking face. All right. Three no. Would have been lethal if they had like a whole lot more life than just the six. No, I don't have any modern deck lists saved anywhere. No. Well, problem here is if they counter Burning Prophet, I have a whole bunch of nothing. What? What? Were you warning me not to play the Burning Prophet? 
Is that what you're doing, Hawkeye? Hawkeye was warning me. He's like, don't play that burning prophet. The scatter, or the essence will get scattered. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> okay, jumped up on, like there's a second level to this table here. As you can see there, like that's the top part of the table. Or like the desk, it's like a two level desk. My, my TV is right here above me. Hawkeye's never jumped up to that second level before. He just did. Like, there's no, there's hardly any room. It's just the TVs up there. Oh, are you crazy? That's a creature. I'll keep it. I need more threats. That's a good threat. Yeah, we, we would have unsummoned the wolf if it was a wolf. Turn around is fair play. They unsummon our creatures, we'll unsummon theirs. So, Lava Runner. Come on in here. Get him, Adelise. Get him. Hmm. Lightning Stormkin. Supposed to draw another another spell. So that was supposed to go.
So I'll let them do their surveilling. I think I bounced the cutthroat again here. And they're down to three. Any spell will pump the Adelies up to three. Any spell will do. Any spell would have done. Any spell at all. Any spell at all. <sighs> Alright, so let's see here. I definitely want the spell pierce. I think. They're not gonna they're not gonna play Veil of Summer in this matchup, are they? Yeah, Reckless Rage is a really does kill wolves very well. I'm trying to, like looking at looking at my deck, what do I want to take out? I kind of want everything. Do I want to take out a land? Do you feel like this is going to be like a long, a longer match of back and forth, a bunch of interaction and stuff? Maybe I should take out a land. Go strike island. Strike Highland. I'm not like that big on the fries um, in this matchup because it doesn't kill Wolf. It kills the 2 1, but so does like all of our other removal. It's possible that I, like maybe I take out Unsummons or like trim Unsummons if it's going to be a longer matchup though. Red green is gruel. G R U U L gruel. Yeah, this this was this was a donation deck list. This wasn't one I put together, so I don't know why no chart of course. I I assume they're just too expensive at 2 mana. Most of our spells are 1 mana. Double blue is pretty rough for Wizards Retort. I I don't think that I don't think that Wizards Retort is a necessity in the deck. It's really good.
That was a tough call. Oh, really glad we put it on the bottom. I guess I'll throw Adelie's into Trickster with having a backup Adelie's. All right, no Trickster. I'm not going to throw Adelie's into Trickster now. It looks like they're just missing their other color, maybe. I like where we're at here, with them just being... On the blue, and us having four creatures on the battlefield. Like where we're at. Alright, now they're blue green. Still, we got four creatures out here. Bold attack. Illegal attacks? Oh no! Illegal attacks. Alright, well I definitely like keeping Unsummon if their plan's Entrancing Melody. Just bounce our creature back. All right, I like the I like the board out one land. That looked like a pretty solid strat there. Oh man. Uh We got to go to 6, right? I did board out an island. We have 15 red sources. We get our draw step. We have like an opt, which is like two more looks. Then we have the next draw step. We have like four looks until our turn two for a red source. It's a lot of looks. Always had it. They're countering this, they're at least not playing the 2-1. Okay, what's up, open-minded? Ooh, they didn't counter it and they didn't play the 2-1. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa. Mm. I need bigger cards. Like, you know, if they're, if they're going to start playing Wolves next turn, we're going to need some other stuff than just that. Scry that land to the bottom, scry this land to the bottom. My regrets are few. It's not so bad. Down to four cards. Does seem like a whole bunch of wolves in hand, doesn't it? Rawr, rawr. All right, the doggo's in. Cue the doggo. I should have upkeep. I'll keep on summon. And then I would have scribed before I drawn the drawn this. So I want a wizard's lightning the doggo? No, I'll probably just unsummon the doggo. I should have stopped during upkeep and done this during upkeep. Not bad. It doesn't recast Wizard's Lightnings. We do have a lot of one mana spells to recast. If I would have done that during upkeep, we would have drawn the this other Arcanist. I don't know if this attack's worth it. Hey, King Ramsey. Um, double Wizards Lightning the Wolf. They just they just counter that. It's so bad though. Thanks for that sub there, King King Ramsey. I appreciate that. Or just let them keep getting three threes.
So yeah, I needed to... I needed to do that a little earlier before that trigger happened, of course. They gotta have more essence scatters over there. They're not even playing lands. It's gotta be more essence scatter. Putting a lot of lands to the bottom. Ugh, this is a sorcery. Doesn't help save my Arcanist. That was a great, great turn for them. So we got three more lands on the bottom. A fourth, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's over half my lands. I only got 19. All right, well, another land. I messed this game up, uh, though. Two things that I did wrong, of course, one the the wolf trigger. But if I would have unsummoned b before we drew that, like that other turn, would have drawn the Arcanist, then we would have got a lot more scries. So I I mistimed. I did some mistiming there. Got I had to I had to stop at the upkeep, you know, just kind of like went to my turn too fast. So it was too too fast for me. Like right after, you know, after we drew the card, I was like, wait, I need to stop on the upkeep. <clears throat> Didn't react fast enough there. But deck didn't help seeing all those lands. I'm glad we boarded out a land, at least. <laughs> we tried. Watery Grave. I don't I don't think not playing charter course is a mistake. I haven't I don't know, maybe That's that's not a mistake I made at least. Like this is an I didn't this is a donation deck. I didn't I didn't even build this deck. It's not a mistake I have any control over. But I don't even know if that is a mistake. Like I don't Two mana's a lot. You want to have a whole lot of one mana spells with Adelise. Like... Yeah, chart. Chart's just pretty expensive.
on. That card's so annoying. Same about the Kai is getting bounced. Oh. I'll protect you. Interesting. Not Othakaya. Guess I shouldn't have kept the second spell pierce. I, mean, I would have just had some lame land. have to do this because otherwise they just bounce out the Kaya. All right, so I should have just countered the Othakaya. Saying like they had a... So I didn't counter the Othakaya. I used the Unsummon because so that I could use the Spell Pierce on like the little Teferi, but the second Teferi d did make that kind of a problem, and the third Teferi makes it a, a huge, a, a lot bigger problem not bouncing Othakaya or not countering Othakaya. Right on schedule. Nothing. You just let me know if you're up. For I can't two. can't cast spells with Dreadhorde Arcanist with that little Teferi in play. Hopefully, I don't have any more. But still. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. This one is pretty over. Don't make another move. Hurry. Okay, draw more more cards now with that Narset. Hmm. So you saw with that game, Spell Pierce didn't even look very good. And that's not a good spot to be. I guess Tails End? I guess this is what Tails End is for. It 
if if they don't have to ferry, Firemind's research could maybe do some could do stuff, but when have we ever played against? An Esper deck that doesn't have to ferry. I mean, I guess I'm supposed to put this card in the deck, though. There's no other reason to have it in the sideboard if it doesn't come in in the, if it doesn't come in in this matchup. So we'll give it a try. And. Burning Prophet is our worst threat against removal spells with the Stormkin having haste and everything. Yeah, I played a non Teferi Esper deck last week, but I, I'm talking about like our. I'm, whenever I said that, I meant like our opponent's kind of deck. There's, it's not really games where they don't draw Teferi. Four lands is too much. Yeah, I think Esper is very good. Um, especially how I, I think... I think Esper can be built to beat vampires. It has all the tools. So if ever, like, I do think that Esper is probably the best deck against vampires. Like, you know, an Esper built specifically with beating vampires in mind, that is. You know, stuff like Devout Decree in the sideboard and like Hostage, Hostage Taker main deck. That's the one thing is <clears throat> finding a way to beat scape shift. With that kind of Esper deck can be tough. I should take out a land <clears throat> in this matchup too. How we took out a land before. That's probably what I should have done. Cause like this is this is a match that's gonna go longer and everything. We don't need as many lands. We just need more. We just need more spells. A band scape shift today, and crush with it. Very nice. Um, I don't know. I have I have a Logitech camera. That's what it says on it. I don't know any specifics about the camera. I guess I could hit the properties thing right over here. It says Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920. That's what it says. cast this thing. Nah. What's up, Kitty Dexterity with that resub? Thank you so much there. That is sub 34 on the day. Oh, it's 35? I was behind on one? Wow. Oh, 
I know my responsibility. Here we go. This is hardly my worst defeat. Maybe they play around Spell Pierce here. Yeah, I've been, I've I've been playing Magic for a long time, uh, around ten years. That's more like now. It. Been playing a, a whole lot of Magic. It's been like the main my main activity for like the last ten years. I've been a professional Magic player like full time. All I do is play like Magic tournaments or stream and stuff like that for around. Cycle this thing. Um, I really should have seen that coming. Since like the middle of 2017, I guess. I was a high school teacher before that. But yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Magic for a long time. I used to play Magic Online a ton before Arena. No one has put thoughtfulness before action. Hey, Casey. So I didn't play the Burning Prophet there so that my opponent couldn't Othakaya the Burning Prophet. This is overwhelming. I guess I should have Wizard Lightning that thing. So you can just, you know, shock it and see what else we draw here, but... You know, we just drew a land, so not great. Um, does it even make sense to? No, I should just strike. Just take my losses. I should just strike this Narset. Striking them for three life, like that three life doesn't matter. Sorry. Right, so I basically lost out on two life I could have My had against rest. them. You know, two damage I could have had with, with the shock. You know, if I would have just Wizards Lightning that thing, the shock could have, So they could be at 25. I don't know how much that'll matter. We need our opponent to draw lands for the next three or four turns, please. Hmm. All right, Fire Mines Research. Let's see what you got. Of course, with them having the Thought Razor over there, that's why I was, like, casting Fury and everything, you know, just need to cast stuff out of my hand. Oh, yeah, Musha, man. I'm a big Steely Dan fan. Mind and body should hone your prowess. Infinite Narsets. I have just the trick for this. And the game's over. GG, thanks for playing. We got them to Trust me. You'll thank me later. the very low 
life total of four more than their starting life total. I have practiced mm. against many foes. Meditate and prepare. Well, Firemind's research didn't seem to do anything. That didn't look like a relevant card. Didn't seem to have too many relevant cards there, though. Not sure exactly how we're expected to win that matchup. These, these Esper decks that are anti-aggro like this are pretty hard to beat. Yeah, little Chandra. Yeah, little Chandra would be a lot better. That's that's a good call. Yeah, I like I like little Chandra a, a whole lot more. That's that's a really good card in that matchup because that kills Narset and little Teferi without have, making you use a card. It can recast stuff. Yeah, I would probably have like four little Chandra. Yeah, four little Chandras in the sideboard for that matchup. So little Chandra and Blood Sun, two sideboard cards that. We think we could have in this deck moving forward. Um, Flame Sweep was pretty cool. It it kind of did its job. I don't know how many Blood Suns you'd actually need, but yeah, Chandra. Because yeah, their their removal spells. I mean, you have to watch out for like Othakaya, you know. But but yeah, this card just seems awesome in this deck, in this sideboard for that matchup. Maybe not for every matchup, but. Yeah, it's not something I'd want to like put main deck. But specifically for that matchup, that's that's like the perfect card. So get these things. And I would want, like I said, I'd want like four, because that's a really tough matchup. You need I think you need a lot of stuff for that. I think Tail's End is pretty unplayable. So we get rid of that. And get rid of those things. And now then you only need to like get one last slot here. Somewhere. Like a reckless rage or a lava coil. I don't know if you need that much of those cards either a reckless rage or a lava coil um I don't know. yeah so i don't know and then if if we have blood suns in here maybe like i'm not sure if you need maybe you don't need blood sun with having flame sweep i'm not sure but blood sun blood suns are a maybe but absolute chandra acolyte of flame give me that card that's a card i want so Blood Suns are a maybe. It depends on... Basically depends on how powerful these other cyborg cards are. You know, like, is Sir Eulen Drake good? I'm I'm very, very questionable if Sir Eulen Drake's good. If not, you maybe get some Blood Suns instead of Sir Eulen Drake's. Um, you know, ob obviously Sir Eulen Drake's just for model red, but it's also just a 1-1. One -one. Like, even when you have it pro red, it's still pretty easy to beat a 1-1. One -one. So that that could be that could be a spot where you could fit some blood suns in if you if you want some blood suns there. All right, but that's as it wizards. That was a pretty fun deck to play. We had some some really cool turns and everything, and just had some some uh, some sweet games. So uh, there we go. I don't like Alpine Moon. I don't like Alpine Moon too much. Uh, with Alpine Moon. It, I haven't seen that it's able... Like, I know it costs one mana instead of three, which is nice, but I haven't seen Alpine Moon be able to actually stop the Scape Shift decks. Uh, it's easy to Blood Sun... Or, sorry, it's easy to, to Blast Zone that thing away and and then continue on. I've been, I've been a lot more impressed with Blood Sun over Alpine Moon. Simic Flash, I think... I don't think Simic Flash is in the best spot right now because I think it's... I think it really struggles against vampires, which is the most, which is like the, the most played deck in the format. The singleton's named Amonkhet because that's the plane, that it's on. Um, I guess I'll here I'll finish this up first, um, and talk about that. But anyway, that's as a wizards. <laughs> so if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun deck. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.